Coming up next, a heavyweight collision between Bruce Lee and the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Well, just when you think you've seen it all, I submit to you a Tyson Fury octagon walk. He accomplished so many things in the boxing world. A lot of people reference that rematch with Deontay Wilder as his crowning achievement. But now is he biting off more than he can chew? You may have seen the videos online. He was training with Darren Till. No denying his gifts and his acumen on the feet. But the question beckons, if one of these elite heavyweights shoots at his legs, will Tyson Fury be able to stop the takedown? Big picture, though, as he smiles as he walks to the octagon. Fear is not a factor for this man. The magnitude of the moment is not a factor for this man. And he's the ultimate competitor. I'm excited to watch him compete here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. Standing six feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds, Tyson Fury. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Like the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Just unable to quite find that range. Missed with that right hand. Oh, nice punch there by Tyson Fury. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, 
right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Big power shot there. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Ooh, head kick land. He's hurt. Oh, vicious uppercut. Wow. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Three minutes in our opening round. Nice head kick. Fury gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Connects with another uppercut. He's landed a few big ones so far. That is his best punch. He finds it from so many different positions, and he can find that uppercut from both sides of the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? And both guys really throwing with authority. Head kick lands. Fury's strike attempt there is blocked. And he landed the right hand there. Pretty good right hand. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, man, look, the uppercut snaps his head back yet again. His coaches are livid. They've tried to give him the right messaging in terms of adjusting. He hasn't been able to execute. He's not listening. At times, a fighter will make a determination, even if it's not in their best interest to fight a certain way. That is what he's doing tonight, and he's definitely paying for it. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times he will block the shot that's incoming. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Just missed with the left there. Powerful leg kick land. Back and forth we go! Fury's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. Round two next. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Land on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Big kick lands. Right hand landed.
to try to establish that jab. Oh, man, head kick lands. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Good stick. Got flip with the right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Fury gets hit with a kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid the shot. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg. Visible damage, and you see him start to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping. He's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Right punches there. Got the single collar tie. Nice straight punch. Back and forth we go. Oh, big head kick lands. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Effective punch there by Lee. Straight right hand now just misses. Fury's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big leg kick lands. Oh, nice right hand. Throwing that jab, no good. And they set. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Ooh. He engages in the single collar tie. Connects with a right. Nice kick. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, that's a nice strike. Let's go. Get first for me. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Good punch, Lance. An educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, nice jab. All right, round three coming up next.
All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect the sliders to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. They're still right on his guard. Fury gets caught with that punch. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, what a punch. Nice leg kick there by Lee. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Beautiful strike. a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice jab by Tyson Fury. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Leg kick. Single collar tie now. Liver kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Straight punch lands. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Throws the right hand there. There by Lee. Left hook to the head. I don't know how many times he can be hit in the head and stay in this fight. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Nice punch by Lee. Fury's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. I mean, he's cutting it down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Effective punch there by Tyson Fury. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Unable to land with that punch. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making. 
making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, he's going to shut your body off. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world the UFC. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. What a punch. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. He loaded up with that right hand, too. All right, single collar tie now. Beautiful kick. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice punch lands over the top. Combination landed by Fury. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Big oh, knee lands deep. there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Lee. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, a huge block there. Nice right hand. Body kick lands. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Fury gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Under two minutes to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Nice punch by Lee. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. And they separate. Over under here in the clinch, DC. We'll see how both fighters choose to attack. It's as even as it gets in fighting. Chest to chest. One underhook here, one underhook there. Overhook, overhook. Who's going to explode into a takedown from this position? Less 
than a minute to go in the round. Ooh, what a head kick. Misses again with a right punch. Goes to the body there. That was a stunning leg kick. That was lightning fast, that right in. Fury gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Big head kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Effective punch there by Tyson Fury. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kick and just reveal, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong legs go, have so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Nice loop and punch. Gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Kick to the body by Lee. Straight right, he misses. Going for the body, missed with that kick. Hands up. What a body kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Fury gets caught with that punch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, single collar tie here. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nicely done to the body. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Loaded up there with that high kick. Oh! Punch over the top. Nice head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big body kick. Whips on the straight right hand. Oh, wow! Head kick! Upstairs. Relax, relax. Punches block. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Two minutes now to go in this one. Beautiful punch. Big head kick lands. Checks the leg kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Big kick lands. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live in it. And he lands, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head. 
head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Oops. Head kick. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Lands with the right hand. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Just missed with the leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lee. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Tyson Fury. All right, nice job by him there as he is your...